The Bakersfield Track Club speaking out about attorney Je Benjamin Green's death tonight. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson talking with the club and a local firm about the possibility of a lawsuit on the horizon. He joins us live now from the courthouse with what they're both saying tonight. Brandon. Yeah, Jackie, friends and family of Benjamin Green are asking questions like why wasn't this race canceled in that high digit weather? And also, why wasn't there more medical aid available for Green and other racers? Now, the track club says that Green and other racers signed a waiver much like the one I'm holding here. And a local attorney says that this waiver, along with other factors, could protect the club if this ever goes to court. We did everything that we could possibly do in that situation. That situation, not one that anyone wanted to be in. After the sudden death of local attorney Benjamin Green on Tuesday night, after running a 5K in near 110 degree weather, his wife and others were speaking out yesterday, saying that the Bakersfield Track Club should have been more prepared. There were several things that could have prevented it, canceling it. He would have been home, having paramedics out there. But Margaret Patterson with the track club says that that was all standard protocol. We can't really ask for an ambulance to be at one of our events. And the direction we've been given is if you need an ambulance, call an ambulance. The track club says that an off-duty firefighter who volunteered for them helped provide CPR to Green until emergency crews arrived. Within two minutes of getting the phone call that we had a runner down, he was there. But friends and family of Green have asked why the nonprofit club didn't provide defibrillators. Our operating budget for a year is about $15,000, and AEDs cost about $3,000. A fifth of their annual budget. And besides all that, Green reportedly signed a release before the race. Neil Gelawat has seen his share of release-related cases. The hurdles in those cases mirror the hurdles that will be there in these cases. One of those hurdles, the assumption of risk doctrine something that could be used in court to essentially say that Benjamin Green knew the risks of the run, if it's ever taken to court. Green's release that he signed before the race, similar to the one found on the track club's website, which states that the runners waive all of their rights for damages against the track club for any injuries during the event. Green's death, the first in the 30-year history of the Summer Series. We asked people to be prepared. We let them know if they wanted to bring their own hydration system, we would encourage that. If they wanted to walk, please walk. There was, you know, we, we let everybody know what the conditions were about. Now, a lot of the possible legal ramifications of all of this, of course, rely on the autopsy, which has not yet been released at this point. Coroners have not released it. As soon as it, as it is, you'll be able to find that information on our website, turnus23.com. But for now, from downtown Bakersfield, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News. Okay.